situation now in Afrin it became really dangerous. It's now up to now uh, 235 civilians that have been killed due to the attacks of the Turkish state and that they are all the time going on with their bombings, going on of killing civilians. It is a really, really big danger right now of a really uh, genocide being committed in Afrin. It's now approximately 850,000 people that they are in the city and all the time it's more people coming to the city. We see the cars here, the people that they try to find shelter in the city. The clashes now, uh, the attacks, it's uh, in the north and in the east of Afrin city, in the, in the villages directly in the surrounding. The people organize, are organizing in uh, assemblies for the resistance in the city. And also and the, the convoys and the people, they went as human shields to uh, protect the city. They went to the, to the north of Afrin and also to, to the village in the north of Afrin, where today all the time also where there were bombings going on. We hear the drones all the time. We hear the warplanes all the time. There's bombing around us. So it's a really, really dangerous situation. There's a really big risk that a genocide could be committed in Afrin. So it is now the time, right now the time for everybody on the whole world, I call on the whole world to rise up for Afrin right now, to stop the Turkish fascist state from, try, uh, from this plan of uh, committing a genocide against the people here. It is the freedom of everybody of us that is being in danger here. So you have to speak up now to break this international silence. It has to be broken. The warplanes, they have to stop. The no-fly zone has to be established over Afrin. The Turkish state has to, uh, has to uh, stick to the ceasefire that the United Nations, they called upon. And also tomorrow there will be a really big demonstration in Afrin city. The people, they are uh, willing to, together to, uh, to stop to stop this genocide, and this should be uh, really with solidarity from all over the world. I repeat, it's a really, really dangerous situation right now. It is now the time to act. It may be too late tomorrow. And long live Africa.